Well, hello everyone and welcome back here to Goetia, or however you pronounce it. I still am not sure. Now, it's been a little while, I apologise. I've had so many things happening in my life recently that uh, recording in YouTube, it, just after I started doing it again, immediately had to take a back seat. But, let's dive back in. And let's get going, because I am determined to play this game through. Love the music. Really do. Hello, Abigail. Hello, Simon. Right. Now, where we were, we had just explored all of this area. We dived into various photographs. And we've got a few bits and pieces we need to resolve in order to finish this area. And one of them is the, the music keys in that one, which I think I've worked out since then. Um, there's some others. and um, I like that. That little bit of gust as we went past the... Okay, one of the things is this rock. Okay. Now... We found a hammer quite early on, and I was looking for a chisel. I think I put the hammer in here. Yes, I did. But we're not going to find a chisel, so I think we just need to use the hammer. A sort of symbolic... Yeah, there we go. So if we drop that down here by that. I like this round rock. What did I could lie in front of it for a while. Oh, oh yes, okay. We've got to be in possession of this in order to read this, haven't we? Here we go. The summit is but a milestone. Climb some more. Seems like someone has never heard of Icarus. Okay, right, drop that for now. There we go. Right, now, can we... I was hoping because of all the Icarus stuff we'd be able to fly. No. Okay. But I'm sure that has changed something. Somewhere. The other thing is these glasses. And I was thinking about, you know, what would you need glasses for in this game? And of course it's game logic, so you need them to look at something that's blurred. No, get in there. Go on. Possess that and use that. There we go. And where do we have something that's blurred? We have one of the pictures that's blurred, and I think, think it's back through here. So let's see how we do. All uh, right, <clears throat> over here. Blurred picture. Box right by it. Okay, so we grab ourselves a pair of glasses. And then we can see this. So, four, one, two, three. Okay, they all look like switches, so I'm going to assume that that's the order in which we need to use them. Okay. Well, the game seems to agree with me, so let's do that. So, pop in here. All right, so there's four, so this is one. This is two. This is three. And this is four. Ooh. And... We get a new picture. Ooh. This is all very pretty. So there's someone new. Oh, sorry about that. Had a bit of a coughing fit that I hope I managed to edit out. If not, enjoy. Okay. I'm feeling a way through, but with so many questions hanging over me. When I possess a picture, what do I see? Is it the projection of the memory, or or the, the real state of the scene at this instant? 
If I create an, and then possess a menagerie, a montage, menagerie, no, that'd be wrong. Uh, if I create and then possess a montage, is the scenery invented by the arrangement? Or would I be right in saying that a link, a doorway, to an alternate version of the picture is created? What happens in my, in my reality when I possess a picture? How does my body react? How does it move? Does it move? Do I keep going about my business? What becomes of me? I'll ask Mother to attend me, to attend one of the uh, rituals so that she can help me to shine some light on this last mystery. If, and it's unlikely, but if anybody from the dev team is watching this, it'd be really great if we could perhaps press the control key or something like that and just get a typed version of these letters appear. They're great, I love the letters, but sometimes they're a tiny bit hard to read. Okay. Right. Ah. Like Icarus, I doth fly. And recognize this book, but not this message. I gave orders to creatures that I would have sworn never existed. I felt and understood the essence of the human soul like no one before me ever described it. I scratched the surface of our salvation after death and literally moved heaven and earth to stand where I am today. No one has ever come so close. I would be insane not to fear for what tomorrow might bring. I have faith in Mother, in her work, in her will and her knowledge, in her persistence, her vigilance, her power and her intellect. I will not draw back. Oh dear. Oh, Gabriel, I... What's happening to me? This atmosphere makes me feel incoherent. This the light is soft, warm, and welcoming. This column was added to the rest. We do anything with it? No, it doesn't appear so. This island is well, hardly an island. It looks like a mountain that was cut out and turned upside down, like something from a story. Hmm. Interesting one. Can we go off this side? No. Can we go off this side? No. What's the map look like? We are here. Okay, apparently we have passed through a mystery to get here. I read all that. What's this? And we're now up here. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, he saith the spirits, that they may rest from their labours. And their works do follow them. Okay. Right, well, you've got the obvious one, and there's nothing else, so let's have a quick look at the picture. Well, we can't go into it. This photograph is troubling. It looks inactive, if I may say so. Oh. I don't know what I did there, but I did something there. But that looks just looked. I mean, we would call that Photoshop these days, but look at it. Uh, it looked horrible. Okay. All right, I don't know what I did there, but I did something. What do you say about it now? 
Nothing, nothing new. Okay, right. Let's move on. And head back. Yeah, so back through here. And he says, pausing for a second, back through here. Which puts us back in this room. And I think we're done with all the pictures now, except for this one. Okay, so let's go through here and see what we know. Now we have here, okay, one, D, A, F sharp. Now if we go back, go on, back you go. And we turn this upside down and go back in. It's now C, B, B. So I think that is the musical what's it we need to play on the piano. So D, A, F sharp, C, B, B. Uh, now where is it again it's in here isn't it this one I think so if we come in here just check this quickly just to make sure I haven't missed anything I don't think I have mother used to put her favourite novels here La Nocturne, some sheet music brought from France. Fortunately, it's been translated by Annie, I suppose. Uh, okay, so let's just check that again. Right, that means absolutely nothing to me, I've got to confess. Okay, so I did a little hunting around on the internet and I found myself uh, a nice little picture of the chords of piano. So let me just bring that up here quickly. Okay, should all be able to see that on the screen now. So if we go here. So that's D, A, F sharp, C, B, B. Yay! Have a little dance, you deserve it. Oh, I'm so good at this, aren't I? Oh, I'm such a good little girl. Ooh, that was rather scary. Let's get out of here. Okay. Alright, so that gives us a new picture. A picture of a landscape carefully placed in this cupboard. Right. Well, let me. There we go. I thought I'd be able to. Let me possess it. Brilliant. And if we take it down here, I'm willing to bet it's going to live right there. Marvelous. Um, let's go in this one. <coughs> Excuse me. With love, a. Well, that looks a vaguely picture, familiar picture. A photograph of some ruins. Just a picture. The trails lead here. I should search for a way to enter. Now? Anything new in here? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh. Cairns would usually erect it to a realm of the dead. If I build one for myself, will I be able to rest in peace? I doubt that very much, Eleanor. You and I have got a long way to go yet, I think. Oh, yay, burned out car. A vehicle destroyed by fire in the middle of nowhere. What's this? The label says developer. I think you found it, Eleanor. Let's take that back. Okay. I feel strangely attracted to the scene ever since I poured liquid on the photograph. Let's drop that off. There we go. And 
Just take one look, just make sure we haven't missed anything. Alright, let's make our way. Ooh. The frailty of existence in a single metaphor. You use big words for a nine-year-old, don't you? Castle Sinclair Grimgo in northern Scotland looks the same as it's, it's as in the photographs. Photographers. My nephew seems to have travelled there quite often. Oh, okay, what's this? The picture. Here we go. This isn't quite backward. I'm sure I'll find something helpful in the matter's past. Yes, I think you're right, actually. We can go back there. That looks like a shortcut back, actually. And we have stuff. We can't go any further. I didn't see this opening the first time I was here. I think that's what we call a clue. The box is empty. Or rather, it was when the photograph was taken. Is it still in the manor? Okay, right, so that's given us a clue, I should imagine, to a secret room back in the manor. We can't do anything else. So let's press back. Okay, so we are back in here now. A quick look at our journal. Do we have anything incomplete in... Gabriel's Folly? No, that all looks done. Okay, all right. All right, so... Possess this box. Ooh. And... Nabirius. Curious, inattentive, discreet, passionate, calm. And that is his banishment symbol. I don't think we've run into Niberius yet. But I'm sure we will. No, Niberius. The symbol doesn't look like the Zeman sigil. Banishing. This must be the opposite sigil. I should be able to enter the manor's tower now. Oh, right. Okay. So, let's have a quick look. There it goes. Nibirius' opposite sigil has been revealed. Every room once blocked by his presence is now accessible. So we can go upwards, or we can go downwards, or we can go leftwards, or we can go rightwards. All right, let's, well, as we're here, let's just have a quick look around here. I have a feeling we don't really want to go there just yet, but let's let's have a look anyway. All right. No. Anything else new over here? I uh, still don't know the answer to this. Okay. But we up we go. What's that tube thing? Okay. We've seen the other end of that before. Looks like we can go out but not up. These photographs have a very wintry feel. I feel dizzy. This is unpleasant. I'd rather turn back. No, you mustn't yet. Not yet. Fight it some more. Some mixed pictures and symbols. It looks like a draft. I don't understand. 
diagrams and symbols, nothing I can make out. How in God's name, or the devil's perhaps, does this tower still stand? You know the footprints going up the wall there? Cloven footprints. Ooh. No, no, it's far too dark. I'm scared, I can't see a thing. That gate, that silhouette, could it be Seth? Seth, my cat, is that you? Hello, Seth. Oh, and you're a pretty kitty. Hey, where are you going? Up there? What's up there? Seth, come back. Wait for me. This can't be right. Okay, well, I think we have the incentive to chase after Seth. Let's just check this one we missed. All these creased notes. The experiments were a bit random, apparently. Right, well, let's go up now. Yes. I never should have crossed over. This was a very bad idea. What's happening to me? Good Lord. This device looks more like what I know. Okay, well, we should chase after Seth. But unfortunately, I think it's time to do it in the next episode. So until then... I've been Simon Parsons. This has been the ghost of Abigail Blackwood. Until the next time, thank you, and good night.